Here's how to change your audio settings in Cakewalk. You can see your current audio settings by going to the control bar and looking at the timer module. Right underneath the time, you'll see a little button that has two numbers, one on top of the other. Mine, say four, mine says 48 and 24 because I've got mine set to 48,000 for the sample rate and 24 for the bit depth, which is what I would recommend you set yours to. If you don't see your control bar, it may be that you've inadvertently hidden it by pressing the C key on your keyboard, in which case it will look like this. To unhide the control bar, simply press the C key on your keyboard again, and it'll bring it back. The easiest way to get to the audio settings is to click on the button that has those two numbers. It'll bring up the preferences box, and you can make your changes from here. I'm going to show you another way to get there, so I'm going to cancel out. And I'm going to go over here to Edit at the top, click, and Preferences, and click. And I'm in the same box again. I'm in the Preferences box again. You want to be in the Audio Driver Settings. By the way, my interface is an older UA, uh, Edderall UA101. And so that's what's listed for my playback and record timing masters, is my UA101. If you have something different, which you likely do, yours will show your interface in these two boxes, if you've got things properly set up. My audio driver bit depth is automatically set by the ASIO panel on my interface, so I can't change that at this time without ch changing the settings in my audio driver. Uh, there is another place to set bit depth, though, and we'll get to that in a second. The sampling rate I've got set to 48,000. You can change this. By default, from Cakewalk, it's set to 44,100, which is CD quality. 48,000 is better than CD quality, and it's the industry standard that most studios use. So that's what I would recommend. We'll talk about changing your sampling rate um, at, the, at, at the end of this video. The other place you want to check is, is under File and Audio Data. In the File Bit Depth section, you should have your recording bit depth set to 24. By default, this is set to 16 from Cakewalk, so change that to 24. The Render Bit Depth at 32 is the default, and Import Bit Depth set to Original is also the default when Cakewalk is installed, and I leave those settings the way they are. Okay, so that changes your bit depth and your sampling rate for recording new files. At the, once you've got those settings changed, you want to click Apply and OK. I'm going to click Cancel because I don't want to make any changes. Your new changes should be reflected in that button up at the top. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what these changes mean. The audio, uh, the sampling rate, is the number of snapshots that that your sound card or your uh, interface is taking every second. For every second of audio information, the way I've got it set is taking 48,000 snapshots every second, which gives me a really high resolution audio. Now I have done work for studios at 96. They've asked me to record at 96K and um, I'm able to do so, um, but it's a heavier load on your processor and your computer. Most audio experts agree that above 48,000, um, you enter the land of diminishing returns. You don't hear any audio difference, but there is a cost in processor usage. So um, most people, the vast majority of studios I've done work with, use 48,000 and 24-bit. The 24-bit part has to do with how much information it's storing for each one of those samples. Um, for each one of those 48,000 um, snapshots, how much in information is it storing for each one? And 24-bit is a very high resolution for that. So um, those are really good settings for excellent quality, video quality, um, sound, and then you will later downsample um, when you master if you want to make CDs or MP3s. You'll, sample, you'll downsample it to 44,100, and 16-bit, which you, which whatever mastering software you use will automatically do that for you in the settings. 
One last thing I want to mention is when you change your sampling rate, um, you will also have to ha need to match what your interface is set to. On my interface, I have a knob that I turn to to set the sampling rate, and Cakewalk needs to match that, whatever however that's set. If I change that setting on my device, it won't take effect until I restart my interface and Cakewalk won't register it as being compatible unless Cakewalk and my device are at the same sampling rate. So if you make this change in Cakewalk to change your sampling rate, you'll need to shut down Cakewalk and change your sampling rate on your interface, turn it off and back on, and then reopen Cakewalk. And if those two numbers match, you should be good to go. Always remember to check this before you start a new project because once you've started a project at a certain sampling rate, um, you can't change it without jumping, jumping through a whole bunch of hoops to change your sampling rate. And I've made that mistake in the past. So I've changed my sampling rate to work on some particular project and then I've gone back to work on my own and it wasn't set properly and um, I ended up having to do a whole bunch of extra work. So make sure that your sample rate is set where you want it at the beginning of your project. Likely, um, it's very likely that you'll set it at 48,024 bit and that'll work for most everything you do. So that's how to change your audio settings in Cakewalk.